Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to set state with this dot set state. The previous challenges covered component state and how to initialize state in the constructor. There is also a way to change this the component state. React provides a method of updating component state called set state. You call the set state method within your component class like so. This dot set state passing in an object with key value pairs. The keys are your state properties and the values are your updated state data. For instance, if we were storing a username in state and wanted to update it, it would look something like this. So here we have this.setState and we're setting our username equal to Lewis. <clears throat> React expects you to never modify state directly. Instead, always use this.setState. When the state changes, when the ch when the state change occurs, also you should note that React may batch multiple state updates in order to improve performance. What does that mean? If you're having a big application and there's a lot of things changing, they might the way that React works on the inside, which I don't really understand. There, there's important there's important reasons that are inside of the React component that makes you so that you should use set state rather than just setting it directly by saying the like this dot state is, dot name is equal to whatever. So you should say this dot set state. Uh, yeah. There is alternative syntax for set state method which provides a way around this problem. This is rarely needed but it's good to keep in mind. Please consult React, React documentation for further details. Uh, there's a button element in the code editor which has an on-click handler. So here we have an on-click handler. On-click this dot handle click. And then within handle click we have uh, a function. The ha handler is triggered when the button receives a click event in the browser. So if we click here, I think if we were to go uh, console.log, uh, click happened. If we were to render that you can see click happened is happening in the console. <clears throat> so every time I click this, it happens. Um, yeah, click happen. Set the name property in the state equal to the string React Rocks. Okay, so we can get rid of this console log. And so what we want to do is say uh, this dot set state. And within this dot set state, we want to pass in an object. And the object is going to say, we want to set the name property in state equal to um, react rocks. And so now if we click this, it changes to react rocks. Cool, that's how you do it. Okay, so this dot set state. Now, um, you know, the kind of traditional way that you would think about doing this, you could say like this dot state dot name is equal to react rocks. But this is not the way that they want you to do that. Um, and so you see, if you click at me, even though this would work in terms of just uh, straight up JavaScript, right? Because, uh, but it doesn't work for this one. Like if we were to console.log this dot state dot name and we clicked, you'll see the initial state, uh, wait, Oh, this dot state dot name. It makes, writes out initial state. Oh yeah, because this is the initial state. And so why couldn't we just set this equal to um, that rocks? Well, for some reason it breaks Java, uh, React. And so that's why we need to say uh, this dot set state. And then we pass in an object with the name equal to the new thing that we want. So React rocks. And this is an object, so we could have other things in here. So we don't need to finish this with a semicolon. Um, I think we want a semicolon there. Um, so yeah, that's it. And so now if we click meet, React rocks. And that's uh, an example of a stateful component. Uh, thanks you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.